first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson we are going to see compounded quarterly so in previous lesson we have seen compounded half yearly and in this lesson we are going to see how to calculate the interest that is compounded quarterly so don't forget to watch my previous lesson because only if you watch the previous lesson you can able to understand this concept or otherwise you can't able to understand how i am solving in a formula method and also by a traditional method so don't forget to watch my previous lesson which is compounded awfully watch all the three question and also watch all the two methods that is traditional method and also by a formula method so friends these are the steps we have seen in the previous video that is compounded awfully so for the compounded awfully we have calculated the interest instead of one year we have split the given year in terms of six months and six months why because it is compounded awfully so we have split the year in terms of half and we wrote and we found the interest for six months and six months and this is the formula for compounded awfully not for quarterly right so this is the formula that we used for compounded awfully now let me move on to compounded quarterly listen carefully what is the meaning of quart early early will be 12 months quarter will be 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 into 12 the result time will be 3 months so instead of calculating the interest for 6 months our target to find the interest for 3 months which is called as quarterly so friends got it so in the previous video instead of half yearly we have calculated the interest for every six months and in this video instead of quarterly our target to find interest for every three months that is called as quarterly one by four friends got it listen carefully the same formula but here r divided by 2 that is half yearly now it is quarterly right so we need to change this r by 2 as r divided by 4 so friends got it and here 2n in awfully we have used power 2n because of quarterly we need to use 4n here no other changes in the formula so friends awfully in the formula we wrote like r by 2 power 2n and now it is quarterly we need to write r by 4 power 4n so similarly we need to substitute the given values that is principal rate of interest and number of years to find the answer for the quarterly so next method is traditional method i hope everyone knows how to solve a traditional method in the previous video while applying a traditional method first of all we divide the rate of interest by two why because it is half yearly here it is quarterly so we need to divide the rate of interest by four got it second one split the given year in terms of six months previously because of half yearly we split the year in terms of six months now it is quarterly so we need to split the year in terms of three months so got it friends example i have wrote one year that is time duration is one year in the previous lesson we have calculated two times the interest for the first six months and the next six months but in this lesson because of quarterly you need to find the interest four times first three months next three months then third three months and the fourth so this is called as quarterly and so i hope that you have understood the concept clearly the same logic only a small changes in a formula and small changes in a traditional method none other than that so friends let me move on to two question on this lesson we can solve both the questions by a traditional method and also by a formula method let me move on to question number one so here the question number one is the compound interest on rupees 8000 for 9 months at 20 percentage per annum interest being compounded quarterly is so friends what are the data they have given as principal which is 8000 is given so principal is equal to rupees 8000 and the time duration rate of interest is given which is 20 percentage per annum and the time duration which is 8 months sorry 9 months so these are the data given. so our target to find what is the interest that should be compounded quarterly so friends first of all let me solve this method by using a traditional method right if we are going to follow a traditional method first of all two notes should be done first is in the previous lesson because of half yearly we have divided the rate of interest by two in this lesson because of quarterly we are going to divide the rate of interest by four where rate of interest now becomes five percentage 
so finally we have changed the rate of interest in terms of quarterly which is 5 percentage next is time duration in the previous lesson we have found the interest and we have split the months in terms of six months and six months we found the interest so because of quarterly we need to split the given months in terms of three months so three months three months three months so totally it becomes nine months so first of all we need to find what is five percentage for the first three months and add the interest with the principal and again five percentage for the next three months add the interest with the principal then find the interest for the third month got it so let me move on to the traditional method now so first three months where five percentage so five divided by 100 into and the principal will be eight thousand so i think we can cancel 2020 here so this becomes 400 so for the first three months we got the compound interest which is 400 so second three months again five percentage which is five divided by 100 into where the principal is 8000 previous uh, compound interest is 400 so when you add both the values it becomes 8400 now cancel 0 and 0 so 84 into 5 becomes 420 right so 420 this will be the compound interest for the next three months so last three months will be so third three months again 5 divided by 100 into so 8400 plus 420 will be 8820 as equals to so i think we can cancel 0 and 0 here so this becomes two times so when you cancel this 441 so finally for the last three months we got a compound interest that is 441 so finally we got the compound interest for the first three months 400 next three months 420 and the last three months will be 441 but our target to find what is the compound interest that is we need to find the total compound interest for the nine months so we need to add all the values right so this becomes one two six one right so one two six one so one two six one so one two six one will be the total interest if they ask what is the total amount then you know that how to find the total amount right if they ask total amount where total amount denotes principal plus interest so principal will be eight thousand and the interest will be 1261 so finally 9261 will be the total amount in this question they are asking only the interest so finally we can say the answer will be 1261 in case if they ask what is the total amount then we need to say the answer is 9261 so friends got it so the same logic that we applied in the previous lesson but only one thing is instead of dividing the rate of interest by 2 we need to divide the rate of interest by 4 step number two instead of calculating the interest for six months we need to calculate the interest for three months now let me move on to the formula method right so formula method you know the formula right where a is equal to p into 1 plus r by 4 divided by 100 power 4n so you need to substitute all the given data in this formula right so a is equals to principal where principal is 8000 1 plus r by 4 so 20 by 4 will be 5 so 5 divided by 100 so here it is 4 into n so friends listen carefully here n should be in terms of years right but the given time duration in terms of month so we need to convert the month in terms of year which is 9 divided by 12 so converting the month into year we need to divide by 12 so 1 4 is a 4 4 3 is a 12 again 3 3 is a 9 so finally the power will be 3 right so this can be written as a is equals to 8000 so 100 into 1 will be 100 so 100 plus 5 will be 105 so 105 divided by 100 so whole q right and this can be written as 105 into 100 so 105 divided by 100 into 105 divided by 100 so now we need to cancel this and we need to find the answer so we can cancel three zero one two three and similarly one two three so we can cancel this on the two table this becomes four when you cancel this on two table this becomes five so we can directly cancel one four is a four uh, 25 25 into four will be 100 so i think we can cancel this on five table so one five is a five 21 again cancel this on 5 table 5 21 so 121 so finally we got a is equals to 21 into 21 into 21 so a is equal to 21 cube right so 21 cube will be 9261 
we have already biat and all the values which is up to uh, if you are preparing for a competitive exam you should definitely prepare up to 25 cube or 30 cube that will help you to crack a question faster so finally we got an answer that is a is equal to 9261 listen carefully every time i am saying after finding answer don't directly go to the options and mark your answer right first of all check the question what they are asking in this question they are asking the interest right but we have found the total amount we know a will be total amount so total amount will be 9261 but our target to find only the interest so we need to find only the interest right this value is principal plus interest but our only target is to find the interest so we need to subtract with the principal so 8000 will be the principal so when you subtract this the resultant will be 1261 so finally we got the total interest that is 1261 for question number one let me move on to question number two so here the question number two is find the compound interest on rupees 32,000 for six months at 10 percentage per annum interest being compounded quarterly so the data they have given is principal is given which is rupees 32,000 okay then next is rate of interest is given 10 percentage per annum and also time duration is given which is six months so first of all let me solve this question by a traditional method then we can solve a question by a formula method right so before solving a question by a traditional method in the previous lesson because of halfly we divide by 2 and here because of quarterly we need to divide this by 4 so the rate of interest become 2.5 percentage so next is time duration so in the previous lesson we have found the interest for six months six months because of halfly but here because of quarterly we need to split the six months in terms of three months and three months so friends got the logic so first of all we need to find 2.5 percentage for the first three months for the given principle then you need to add the interest with the principle again find 2.5 percentage for the last three months so let me move on to the traditional method now so 2.5 percentage can be written as 25 divided by 100 into the principle is 32,000 so friends 2.5 can be written as 25 by 10 because in order to remove the decimal point 2.5 can be written as 25 divided by 10 so finally this can be written as 25 divided by 1000 friends got it so 2.5 in order to remove the decimal point divided by 10 already denominator is having 100 so 100 into 10 will be 1000 so we can cancel 30 similarly we can cancel 30 so 32 into 25 so 5 2s are 10, remainder will be 1. So 15 4, 19, 19 plus 1, 20, remainder 1, 6. 6 plus 2 will be 800. So finally we got the compound interest for the first 3 months which is 800. Right? For the last 3 months, again 25 divided by 1000 into, so 32,000 plus 800 will be 32,800. That's equals to, so we can cancel 2 0, again we can cancel 2 0 here. So let me cancel this on 5 tables. So 5 5s are 25, 5 2s are 10. So when you cancel this on two tables, so 1, 2s are 2, remainder will be 1, 6, 2s are 12, 4, so 164. So 164 into 5. So 5, 4s are 20, so remainder will be 2, 30, 32, so which becomes 820. So finally, we have calculated the interest for the last three months, which is 820. But our target to find what is the total interest, right? So total interest will be 800 plus 820, the resultant will be 1620, that is 1620 will be the total compound interest so friends got it so by using a traditional method we have solved question number two and finally we got the total compound interest that is 1620 now let me move on to a formula method right you know the formula right a is equals to p into 1 plus r by 4 divided by 100 into 4n and the principal is given which is 32,000 okay then 1 plus r by 4 r by 4 that is 10 by 4 will be 2.5 so this can be written as 25 divided by 1000 and is equals to 4 power n where n should be in terms of number of years but here n is given in terms of 6 months so we need to convert in terms of year that is 6 divided by 12 so 1 6 are 6 6 2 are 12 so 2 times so finally the power becomes 2 so we can cancel this also 125 are 25 40 times we can cancel this so finally 32,000 1 plus 1 by 40 power 2 so this can be written as 32,000 and uh, 1 plus 1 by 40 will be 40 into 1 will be 40 40 plus 1 will be 41 so 41 divided by 40 into 41 divided by 40 so finally i think we can cancel two zeros here 
20 so 4 into 4 will be 16 right so 16 twos are 32 which is 20 times so finally this can be written as 20 into 41 into 41 so 41 square okay so this can be written as 20 into 41 square so 1 so 4 into 4 will be 8 4 4 are 16 so 1 6 8 1 so this can be written as 0 so 2 8 twos are 16 remainder will be 1 6 twos are 12 1 13 remainder will be 1 so 33620 kindly say this will be your final answer why because look at the question carefully they are not asking a total amount they were asking the interest right but we have found the total amount total amount denotes so this 33620 includes principal and also interest but our target to find only the interest so you need to subtract the total amount with the principal so when you subtract 33620 minus 32000 resultant will be 1620 so finally we got the total interest that is 1620 so friends finally in this lesson we have solved two important question that is based on compounded quarterly so both the previous lesson and this lesson which is most important for all the competitive exams so don't forget the formula and also don't forget the traditional method in compounded half early, we divide the rate of interest by two and we found the interest for six months but here in quarterly we divide the rate of interest by four and we found the compound interest for every three months so small changes in the formula in the formula that is compounded r fully where r by 2 power 2n but in quarterly it is r by 4 power 4n so try to practice more and more number of questions by referring any quantitative aptitude books so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like it share this video to your friends those who are preparing for a competitive exam so thank you so much for watching this video bye